so let's come back and start we've already studied the preparation of phosphine now let's come back and learn the chemical properties as well as physical properties of phosphine so when i have to speak about <coughs> the physical properties basically your phosphine is you know when i have to see the nature it's a colorless gas done so let's write that colorless gas done. it's highly poisonous in nature highly poisonous the next important thing is it, it has an odor of just when i say colorless gas it, just like your fish rotten fish isn't it so it has rotten fish smell okay done why did i give these basically they're going to ask you for one mark what is a highly poisonous gas which is colorless in nature as well as which has rotten fish smell that is your phosphine so remember the clues for that particular question done now <clears throat> Whenever I am going to uh, take this phosphine, suppose after this property, suppose if I take phosphine, <coughs> if I am going to react phosphine or I have trace amount of phosphine in the presence of your nitric acid, which is a, a strong oxidizing agent, it is going to really explode, right? So simple, remember one uh, question, what happens when phosphine is treated with concentrate or nitric acid you can just if it is asked in question one more question you can write the reaction is highly explosive in nature so i'm adding that point also basically i'm adding these questions because which are frequently asked so phosphine explodes in presence of oxidizing agents like nitric acid and even with it reacts with chlorine it reacts with bromine etc let's see suppose if i take a reaction with chlorine or bromine both are same i am picking up chlorine now i'll take phosphine and i'm going to add here first three moles of chlorine the same thing i'm going to take phosphine and add four moles of chlorine just observe carefully simple whenever you're taking whenever you see three moles in the exam simple pcl3 3 means PCL3. Okay, PCL3. Now PCL3 and HCL is out. Done. Whenever you take 4 moles, <coughs> the higher than that, get PCL5. I'll tell you why PCL5 plus HCL. Let's balance and see. Now here chlorine 3 to the 6. Here already chlorine are uh, 3 plus 1, 4. You need 2 more because your hydrogen is how many here? Hydrogen is 3, so I will write 3. So 3 plus 3, 6. And 1 phosphorus done. Now here in this case, how many chlorines do you have? You have already taken 4 chlorines. So 4 to the 8. Here how many do you have? 5, 3. If I add 3, it will become 8. Now phosphorus, uh, so the phosphine hydrogen is 3, balanced. Chlorine 4 to the 8. Initially you took 4, isn't it? So 4 to the 8, you have divided uh, 5 plus 3, 8. Hydrogen is 3, hydrogen is 3. So this is phosphorus trichloride and phosphorus pentachloride so remember while taking only try to take three moles and four moles so that it is easy to form the product with three moles you'll get phosphorus trichloride with four moles you'll get phosphorus pentachloride 